We're going for the three crown. We have to go for the three crown. He's got two musketeers, mega minion, and it's gonna clone. And you be on some hot boy. Like I told Tish, I see when I and welcome back to the row session central i'm the nigerian nemesis and in today's video i'm going to be using decks that you guys suggested to me so we're going to have three different decks starting with this very first deck golem three musketeers suggested by tim hunger and we're just going to see what we can do in the grand challenges this deck looks really exciting it has double minions and the three musketeers as well as the collector so i'm thinking that we're going to start this game off very slowly with the elixir collectors and counter attack nicely once we get our golem down and have an elixir lead with the three musketeers, it's going to be absolutely insane. And I don't think it's going to be possible to stop this deck. So here we go. We're going to start with our elixir collector in the back left since his goblin hut is there on the right side. Up against Pet Fev from Hicks Squad. Alrighty, he's just going to sit there with his goblin hut. So I'm going to get ready and either play, let's see, maybe three musketeers, maybe golem. I'm still not seeing anything. Let's go with the golem here in the back middle. So now we've got, we're in business. He's got his princess down. On the right side, I do have my arrows ready, but I think I'm just going to sit back here and absorb all of the princess's damage instead of wasting my arrows and split my musketeers and let my musketeers go to work on that princess. We're going to send two musketeers here to the right side, and that's going to be pretty good. They'll take out the princess. We've got one musketeer supporting our golem, and now we're going to send in the goblin gang. Hopefully, he doesn't have a log, or he will get great value. That is a good log there from him. We're going to send in minions on the left side. While that executioner is distracted, they should be able to wipe up that bandit and take out that executioner as well as the bomber once everything is said and done so those goblins are still doing work on our right hand tower the princess did so much work we're gonna have to arrow here we're already down to 1154 so that goblin hut is very very underrated and it's not really used and i can understand why because there's so many golems everywhere everywhere you go you will see a golem night witch and we have a golem here in this deck so Hopefully in overtime we can overrun this guy. He's going to drop another princess. This time I can't just sit back and let it do its thing. I'm going to have to take it out with our Lumberjack. He's going to send in a band. Hopefully the LJ is able to take her out. LJ sends her down to about 1 or 2 HP. Can she get a charge off? That's the question here. She's going to take one shot from our tower and get the charge off. So that's absolutely insane. He's got his Goblin Hut coming back at us on the right side once again. Our Golem is barreling down the left lane. We're going to have to get our split muskies down one more time. And uh, even if it fails here, I think once we get into overtime and we do this one more time, we will be in business. So we're going to send two musketeers to the right side once again to stop those goblins. And that one musketeer will help out. The minion's going over the top middle to try and take out that cannon before it can distract forever and ever. That musketeer is wailing away at the executioner. He did wait till the last second to play that bomber. So that's going to shut down our musketeer. But on this right side, look at this. We've got the lumberjack, a musketeer, and so many minions down. And we are going to take that very first tower. And we have... The Lumberjack about to die here and rage all of those minions up on the King Tower along with the Musketeer. So just like that, we flip the battle and it is 1-0. He's trying to take our tower here. We're going to arrow, make him play many more cards to try and take that tower. It is down to 194, but I haven't seen a heavy spell from him. He's going to send in a log. That's going to take our tower down to 98 HP. So we're going to have to see if we can hold on here. We're going to send in the Lumberjack. We're not going to let him take this tower easily. If the log's the only thing he has... We're going to try and make him cycle back to it. So that tower is still down there. Eight seconds left in this battle. We have that golem there on the left side. We're going to send our muskies here or our goblin gang. The log's going in hot. That's going to send us down to two HP. So that's absolutely crazy. We didn't even lose that one. We take that one nil solid victory. Unfortunately for him, he wasn't packing anything hot. So he wasn't able to take our tower. So Tim, that was a great deck. Got us the W here. So moving on to the second deck. It is a golem balloon deck. Followed with the wizard, supported by the furnace and the minions. Also fire spirits. I haven't used fire spirits in a long time, so this will be interesting. Brought to you by Pooh Bear. So we're going to see what we can do with this deck. I'm probably just going to start by setting up really slowly with our furnace and counterattacking with the wizard. Actually, a really deadly combination. This doesn't have anything to do with this deck. But the wizard and the tornado is really, really good. The wizard's DPS is very high, and many people don't use him, obviously, because of the executioner or the e-wiz. Or the Night Witch, just other cards surpass him, but he is still very good. So I'm expecting some great things from this deck. He's going to start off with a giant minion push already on the right side. Hopefully it isn't a graveyard. We do have our minions ready just in case. Okay, so he's coming at us with all of that. That's going to be pretty tough. We don't have anything solid. So we're going to go with Fire Spirits right on top of the Muskies and then follow it up with some Skeletons. And now the Giant's heading towards our tower along with that mega minion and he has an ice golem but that's a really really good stop from us he didn't even get damage off onto our tower it is down to 22 
No, 23, 23, the Mega Minion is coming in hot. We're just gonna absorb all of the damage that the Mega Minion has to offer and see if we can get a counter push going. Actually, we can absorb that. He's gonna clone that and get two Mega Minions onto our tower. So very well played. He did take us all the way down to 635 with that sneaky maneuver, but now we have a very good push going back at him. Can that Wizard take out the Musketeer? Three shots onto that Musketeer. Yes, it is now dead. We've got all of this onto his tower. He's gonna zap, but that's not gonna be enough. Let's send him some Fire Spirits just in case he supports anything to destroy our wizard. And he brings that in, but that's not gonna be enough. We're gonna take the first tower just like that. A minute and 40 seconds still left in this battle. We've got a pretty healthy golem onto his king tower and the wizard is going to town. He's forced to drop that mega minion right on top of our wizard. So that's very, very good for us. And now we're gonna set up shop with the furnace on the left side. He's actually gonna clone there on the left side or on the right side. So that was pretty dumb. And now his mega minion is coming towards our tower. We're gonna probably leave that alone or maybe distract it with one elixir skeletons. Let's just go with the skeletons. We might as well cycle. And now we're gonna start our golem push here on the left side. He still doesn't know that we have the balloon. So that's gonna be a very, very big surprise. No one expects the balloon. And look at that on the right side. Three musketeers are coming towards us. This would be a great time to play the balloon. Now that that card is down because the three musketeers are a hard counter to our balloon. So all of that's coming in on the right side. We really don't have much to stop it. Let's see what the fire spirits and the minions can do for us. Tower's gonna fall, so he's gonna shred all of that. We're gonna drop our balloon here in the center. That's gonna go towards his second tower. And now he has two musketeers and a giant on top of our king tower. We're going for the three crown. We have to go for the three crown. He's got two musketeers, mega minion, and it's gonna clone along with two giants. Can we take that tower? We do. We're gonna three crown him before he three crowns us. So that's gonna put us at two and zero on the day so very very good deck poo it worked out really really well for us and uh, i might have to try that in ladder mix it up just a little bit maybe throw in a tornado or something but let's go ahead and move on to the third deck it wasn't very specific but this one is from wesley he said he wanted to see a battle ram rage mirror deck so i just threw in all these other five cards executioner tornado night witch goblin uh dark goblin and baby dragon so this will be very interesting if we can get that Battle Ram raged up. It'll get to the tower almost every single time as long as it doesn't get distracted by any other buildings. So hopping into the third and final battle. Let's see what we can do here with this deck. We're going to play it sort of counterattacking and wait and see what the opponent does. And then attack with the Battle Ram. I love using the Battle Ram. So Night Witch is coming in hot on the right side. Executioner will go and meet her at the bridge eventually. Let's see if he decides to play a tank to defend for the Night Witch. Until then, we do have our Baby Dragon and he's sending in his Lumberjack, so that's going to be a pretty solid push. And he's going to Tornado, so my Battle Ram went down just in time to protect our Executioner. So that gives the Executioner time to take out that Night Witch. That's going to clean the Night Witch up very nicely. So very even trade in the first minute of the battle. We're going to send it going hot here with the Battle Ram and the Night Witch. And let's go ahead and rage this. This is going to be absolutely crazy. Look at the Battle Ram. It's going to go all the way to the tower. It's going to actually get a connection, even with the e -Wiz standing there. And look at this. We have bats on bats on bats. There are so many bats on the map. That's going to do some great damage for us. His tower is already down to 1709. So we are looking pretty good with this deck. I still don't know what he's running, but we're going to start here probably with either a Dark Goblin quick or actually we have our Battle Ram. So let's go Dark Goblin and Battle Ram at the same time. He did just log, so there's no way he has that back in rotation. He's going to use his Tornado Dark Goblin is still going to be wailing away at that tower. I'm surprised he even got targeted there. I don't know what he got killed by, but now we've got to deal with his Lumberjack. So we're going to go in with our Baby Dragon. This will clean the Lumberjack up just enough. Lumberjack won't even get any hits onto our tower. And now we're sitting pretty good here. Baby Dragon is going to lock onto that tower and deal some more damage for us. He actually has a Golem. So I'm actually really upset about this because I just wasted the Battle Ram. I won't say wasted, but unfortunately we don't have the Battle Hand. The battle ramp in hand to apply pressure on the left side. That's what we really needed there. And now we're forced to go with a Night Witch. She will get a little bit of damage off. But the reason why it's not going to work out too well for us is not. Now he has a Golem and I think he's going to have his Night Witch. He's going to go with a Night Witch on the left side. So our Dot Goblin should be able to do some work for us. As long as he doesn't have any arrows or anything. He actually has that Tornado. I completely forgot about that. That's going to bring the Dark Goblin into the Night Witch. The Night Witch is going to strike it down. And now we have to deal with a Lumberjack and Golem. Our Battle Ram is going down as a defense and distraction. Ewa is coming in hot, so this is going to be pretty tough to stop. We need to get these Golemites out of here. Lumberjack is going to town. Ewa's is going to town. Our tower is going down really, really fast here. Ewa's is raged up. Is that going to be the first tower? Not yet. That tower is down to 15 HP. The log will clean up our Night Witch, Dark Goblin, and take out the tower. So we are down 1-0 here without a heavy spell. This is not good. We have to try and get to that tower some way, somehow. Dark Goblin going to work. 
And that baby dragon's distracted. He is going to use the tornado. Very good tornado by him once again. Let's go ahead and rage our battle ram and the night witch and see if we can get something happening here. He's just going to log all of that. So very good log. Very solid defense. Nine seconds left. We still can't even get anywhere near that tower. Dark Goblin is going down. He's going to use another tornado. Dark Goblin is doing its best. Two seconds left. And we got his tower all the way down to 366. Unfortunately, we were not able to secure that battle and grab the W there. Uh, the deck is it's interesting. Interesting. That's what I'll say about it. It's really, really solid if you can get the plays right. But maybe I could have chosen some better cards to support it. But here are the three decks for you guys one more time. We started off here with Tim's Golem Three Musketeer deck with the double minions. Moving on to Pooh Bear's Golem balloon deck try this deck out if you want to surprise some kids it does a really really good job of that and then we finished off with the battle ram mirror rage deck that was absolutely crazy and i had a lot of fun using that deck so that's going to do it for today let me go ahead and donate some cards here to my clan really quick i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did go ahead and drop that like and if you're new to the channel hit that subscription button for some more future daily clash royale content and i hope you guys go on and enjoy the rest of your day Peace!